Now on this unexpected journey of ours through Don't Starve Together's Fruits and Veggies, we have seen a lot of unexpected high for what's to come. Heck, even pomegranates have made the list. And while I'm still adamant about not covering them all, I am shocked that no one, not a soul mind you, has ever mentioned this next one, corn. I'm not kidding, folks. I literally filtered comments to check to see if anyone had suggested it, but nope. Corn has been left in the dust. The question is, why? And if you want my guess, I think people just straight up forgot about it. Just like how many may forget that corn is far, far more common outside of farming than any other crop in this game. Popcorn, aka cooked corn of course, can be straight up bought from the Midsummer Con Eval prize booth after playing some easy to win mini games. Seed clusters are also available via the very same toggleable event and house four corn seeds specifically at the end of the day. Popper fish found occasionally near land in the coastal waters of this game can be caught via a fishing rod and murdered for popcorn in case you didn't know. And finally, the exact same can mostly be seen for corn cod here, only they're found in the swell waters and drop actual corn this time around. But yup, I'd say the majority of that would be a set of firsts for these crop videos. However, this takes the cake, I think. Fishing for veggies. But why care, Beard? Ever thought that corn was just ignored because it sucks? Well, Maybe, but I think we still need to go beyond corn here. Cause of course, raw and cooked corn is not gonna blow us away. However, I still wouldn't diss that 25 hunger a munch, as that's actually up there with the best. And if we get into a corn's craft, such things might not even be a question. Not one powder cake is round to steal the flippin' show. Once again, we can't really expect the greatest meals here, but your eyes do not deceive you. That is indeed an actual spoilage timer in this game. So then, at the cost of honey, twigs, and corn, or I guess substituted with popper fish or corn cod, which is kind of funny, we can have a practically never ending bait for our pig farms if we do so choose to use it as such, or better yet, as spice holders. But hold up, what? Well, what are they can spice crockpot food, yes? So, why not spice up powder cakes that last forever so that we can eat them when we want to as any character because we could probably switch the Warly, do this, and switch back. I say again, spice holders folks. Enjoy. But that is not all that corn has to offer us as yet another crockpot dish would like a word. Fish tacos. Sadly though, while they're truly not bad, and dirt cheap too, they are completely overshadowed by fish sticks at the end of the day, as the latter doesn't need corn and provides 40 health instead of a taco's 20. Still, 37.5 hunger, 5 sanity, and 20 health is nothing to outright ignore. Especially if you are a corn farmer. And before we actually get to just that, note one last, very recent mechanic added to corn. Feeding crocids. It's not much and has an insane cooldown timer, but it is a thing specific to popcorn itself, so I just had to mention it. Enjoy the extra tickets and tokens, everyone. But oh yeah, all that talk is reminding me that this here is supposed to be a farming slash crop video. So we best get to plant an A. In autumn, we have a 13.2% chance for a random seed to sprout into a corn stalk, which will drop to 8.2% in winter, which corresponds to it being the one season that corn doesn't like. However, chances are actually gonna rise again in spring to 12.4%, and we'll finally round out at 15.7% in summer. Truly not bad. In fact, corn has some of the highest chances to grow in this game across the board, matching the other bests that the game has to offer us. So yeah, with that in mind, even though we spent half the video talking about how to get corn without plowing the fields, chances are we're still gonna have our first encounters by plowing the fields. So then, best know what to look for. Here are all the stages of a corn plant, as well as a friendly reminder to never discount the crop seed bird cage method of farming, as it will still help us focus the crop as soon as possible. Perhaps not as fast with corn here, but you still get the picture. Which means I think it's time to start wrapping up the day by reaping what we sow. 
with a one crop, one plot mentality at play, all we need to worry about is water, happiness, and compost as corn is one to restore two nutrients while eating the other, in some relatively low amounts to boot. That said, whenever a crop eats one type of fertilizer, they immediately become a cinch to make giant at pretty much any time, so grab a hammer and get to smashing some not so giant looking corn. Or, you know, don't. And I mean, don't do such a thing because you can't because you didn't actually and don't really care about giant crops anyways, so all you did was match seasons and maybe water and maybe tend, which still usually means a crop and its crop seed, so there you go. I literally did nothing and I still got all this. But come on now, folks. It's flipping compost nutrients we're talking here. Compost fertilizer is easy to come by and make via rotten eggs, rot, and compost itself produced from composting bins in great numbers. And with 24 compost nutrients coming from the latter alone, none of this is gonna be a problem. And heck, we have always got the three in ones too. Glomer goop, tree jam, and wormwood's compost wrap. The latter being, quite possibly, the best fertilizer in the entire game. But of course, there is always the option of not using any stinking fertilizer whatsoever with the help of crop combinations, of which corn has many. No. Seriously, corn has like a bajillion of these things, from the big but simple to still big but a bit more complicated. So I think it's best you learn about them somewhere else. And there you have everyone, yet another crop video down, but one that even I never thought would be coming up. I guess we all kind of gave corn the cold shoulder over these past couple months for some reason, and I don't know why. It's cheap, incredibly accessible, and way more useful than most others at the end of the day, so let's not forget it ever again, eh? But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, don't forget the butter, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.